welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. Guys, we are kicking off the month with a big home bargains haul. Did you expect anything less? Um, sorry that it is a little later than normal. I had all intentions of filming last night, got in from work, had a bath, had dinner, and guys, I crashed out. Completely KO. This week has been the week of all weeks at work, let me tell you that. Um, in the run up to whenever I have a week off, everything goes peak tong. And yeah, I think I was just so exhausted from the week's antics that I come in and completely crash. So I do apologize for the lateness of today, but guys, you would have seen from the thumbnail. I mean, I can barely lift it. I almost just snapped my nail <laughs> trying to lift it, but we have a huge home bargains haul and you're probably thinking okay let's just address the elephant in the room shan yes normally if you sit down halls girl you have your slap done i know january you didn't because she was too chilly and this month i am still chilly but i'm feeling like because it's the month of love and self-love and self-care let's embrace and i don't want to sit there and put makeup on if i'm not going to get use out of it after like for me, it takes a little bit of time and I think I do a video and then I'm like, oh, well, I've got no other plans today. That's why I try and film after like we've had memory days and just bulk it. But I thought, you know what, we're going to learn to appreciate ourselves a little bit more. And you probably do not care what I look like. I mean, some of you might. So apologies if you thought you was going to get a done up shan for this haul. There is a haul coming. I think it's like a little bonus haul that I will have slap on because it's a very nice little Valentine's Day haul. But for these the bargain shops guys this is how i look when i go to the bargain shop minus the lashes normally hair up after work in my little element loving life so i don't want to sit here and rip it rabbit i just wanted to say apologies that we are once again makeup free but how cute i'm in my pink cozy jumper dress because it is still cold we may be in february it may be the month of love but there is no heat coming from the weather because it is cold but I mean, you can already see there's some in pink and fluffy in here. Shall we just get into it? <laughs> right, let's start with another cushion. Guys, I think this was like $2.49 and they had it in blue as well, but obviously I went for the pink. How cute is that? It is a baby pink like sheepskin fur heart cushion and as you may or may not be able to see behind me i have my white one from christmas and i also have my red crochet one but i wanted another one so you are well and truly going to go straight in with the rest of the heart cushions let me tell you that because you can never have enough heart cushions i was actually going through this sounds excessive but i was going through my cushion collection and i realized i don't really have love cushions for the month of february i'm like what is going on Oh, <laughs> I think we're going to have some uh, interference from Footloose today. I mean, it's a Saturday afternoon. When have we last had a Saturday in peace? Who knows? But I haven't actually even got like a love throw. And I said to mum, what did I use to put on my bed then for Valentine? She said, well, I remember the little bit of tinsel. And I was like, I can't remember that. I actually cannot remember that. So... We've gone, we've got new bedding, you would have seen in the Let's Love Ourselves, shall we, vlog. It is a teddy bear penguin heart bedding, and it's just lovely. So I think I might have to do a little list of some seasonal bits that I need, and that will be like a love heart Valentine's theme throw, and also a few more cushions. A few more cushions. Right, guys, you do not know the excitement when I saw this, let me tell you. I love a good snack, all right? When I do snack, it's more time of the month. I snack, snack, snack. Golden Wonder is probably one of my go-tos, but I've got the meaty pack. So these are right up my street. You get six sausage and tomato. I have never, ever heard of that flavour, so that will be interesting. Six cheese and onion, five roast chicken, and five smoky bacon. I would rather an extra smoky bacon to a cheese and onion, I'm not going to lie, but these were three pounds. Three quid for 22 packs of crisps, which I don't think is too bad. Um... What would you say is your favourite crisp? Because I go through right really weird stages. One minute, I will only eat walkers. Then I love my Golden Wonders. Then I go through a stage. Do you remember Seabrook's? The Seabrook's Steak Crinkle Cut. 
Then when I want to feel a bit bougie, I fancy McCoy's. And then I'll be like, monster munch. Oh, let's throw in a bit of chipstick. My crisp, if I was allowed to have like an actual crisp cupboard in a home, I don't think I could contain it to a cupboard. And then like Watsits and Quavers. I mean, I'm never knowing what I'm in the mood for. What am I going to fancy a bit of? I don't know. But yeah, I didn't think that was too bad. Three quid for 22 meaty. They had the original one, which I think was cheese and onion ready salted salt and vinegar and i feel like the chicken was potentially in the regular as well or another one it wasn't a, was it a, no it wasn't a worcestershire sauce i was thinking of a weird flavor then i think it was a roast chicken in the regular but the regular pack is a big red box well pack it you know that one nice old uh, smoky steak coloring <gasps> right I got some more. I primarily got some of these to take away to the log cabin with me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> these are by the brand Seven Days. However, if you remember when I last bought these, I picked them up, chucked them in the trolley, didn't look at them. When I then got them back, I realised that there wasn't actually seven because I thought this was a week of croissants. The company is called Seven Days, but you get five croissants, okay? So don't do the mistake like me and think that you get seven. Unfortunately, you just get five. But these ones have a cocoa filling. And I think I got another pack, which is the original ones that I got last time. But a pound. A pound for five. These are great. And I'm hoping, once I'm back from the log cabin, really like try and kickstart my ass back in the gym and healthy eating. Because it's just been slacking. It has just been slacking. And I thought something like that, when the snack man comes, and I normally go out and get like some chicken or bacon or sausage or maybe just the breakfast in general i could sit there with my cup of tea and have a croissant fingers crossed it's going to work like that i'm not entirely sure but we're going to go with it okay we will go with it now please don't shout at me <laughs> because i know you're going to say did you need that yes i did um so guys i've got another mug okay they did have a few valentine's themed ones they had a lot of like Minnie and mickey mouse ones and there was one it was like his and hers and i was like well there's not a his and hers it's just a hers but the way that they were it was like they were supposed to be like a pair so those went out the window then there was a tiny little one which i think was for a child and i was just like no i was like well i can't get a valentine's day mug can i and then I had a proper look and I found this. What is something that I love? Tea and biscuits. So I got a cute little uh, biscuit cup, but I love the style of this. So it's kind of got like a lipped edge. Can you see that bit sticks out? And this bit, when it goes down, it kind of like filters out and the handle, it looks very elegant, doesn't it? This gave me like HomeSense vibes and like TK Maxx. I thought like $3.99, $4.99. 199 $1.99. So I was like, well, you know what? You are going straight in my trolley. And I will be very excited to use that. That actually could be my mug for the month of February. When we do our sit down with Shan and our scandals with Shan, that will be the mug, I think. Yes. And it says nice on it. Well, niece biscuits. And they was Nana G's favourite. So very, very reminiscent, shall we say. Right, there is a lot of these in here, in and amongst, so we shall have to see. However, I think these have gone up. I feel like these are not 49p anymore. I feel like they're 59, which you might think, Shan, is only 10p, but when you buy in bulk, it all adds up, doesn't it? So here, we grabbed roast chicken and chicken and mushroom. So at the minute, I've got two chicken and mushroom noodles. So I picked up more of these than the roast chicken because I am actually partial to these now because I can no longer get my Christmas dinner mug shot pot. Gutted, absolutely gutted. This is like my alternative. And then we have one roast chicken pasta for Mama G. But as I say, there is a lot more down there. A lot more down there. Oh, I found it, I found it, I found it. You all said to me on my Burns Night vlog, Iron Brew tastes so much better out of a glass bottle. And I only went and blooming found it in Home Bargains. This was a bit pricey though. I feel like this was $1.49 or possibly $1.99. But I feel like it's the original packaging. So it says Iron Brew, old and unimproved, 1901. 
and it's 750 ml so okay it's not a litre but it's a decent size it's a good few bottles so i'm actually really oh my goodness i almost knocked myself out with that didn't i i'm looking forward because i feel like when i come back from the cabin i still want to have haggis because you was all sending me recipes in there and someone sent in chicken breast stuffed with haggis now that is right up my street let me tell you that so i feel like this could be used for that and i mean it's still it's cold this has just been in the hall and this is freezing i could probably pop this open and drink it now but i'm not i'm going to save it and i will uh, give you my verdict on how iron brew tastes out of a glass bottle but yeah i was so impressed to see that and they had them in cans like the tall red bull style can they had them there as well oh guys i haven't had these for ages the little um 49p rices these are still 49p because if these are crept up i don't think i would have been happy at all i just got a little pilau rice if you remember i used to live off of these rice pouches i'd easily get four a month now i'm getting back into like well trying to get back into healthy eating i think i will start picking these up a bit more because well it says half a serving okay i suppose i could have a if i'd done it i could probably meal prep it for two lunches but i would like to have this with like some chicken and stir fried veg but honestly so worth it they do grains now they do quinoa there's brown rice pouches you can get egg fried loads of different flavors but i fancied a little pilau rice because i know we have quite a few chicken breasts left in the freezer so i thought you know what chicken is easy to do in it stir fry it put it with a little bit of a curry sauce if you didn't want a fajita style you are good to go and for two minutes you haven't got sand over there faffing about with the rice and stirring no 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 there is a lot of random stuff in here i will say that right now um this is actually very practical you're probably thinking shan you have it but i picked up a little mini garnier micellar water all in one canon there we go oh no don't focus on me <laughs> so this is 100 mil so perfect for traveling if you was traveling abroad but i thought this was good for me to take away to the log cabin i am slowly in the midst of doing my list because i actually go away on monday so filming and schedule everything will still be up as normal you won't be having any missed uploads because i'm going to try and pre-film before i go and do a little bit of filming for when i'm away so stay tuned on my instagram because i will be asking you for your confessions you know, this is like a little series. We've done it when we was last away at the cabin. We've done it in Dominican. This is like a little thing. Our travelling is going to be our way to escape our confessions. And everything remains anonymous, but I shall be the one to spill the tea. Um, so I saw this and I thought, great, because I don't want to be taking bags upon bags upon bags. You know, like I need to have space in the car when I arrive because otherwise where is all my shopping gonna go i've already found the farm shops i've booked a few little trips out i found there's a shopping center nearby there is an outlet center to say i'm excited is an understatement but yeah this was one pound which i didn't think was too bad at all and now i've seen these definitely handy for holiday because last year i took my big one and i probably only used about a quarter of it but it's just the size and everything, like the weight it takes up, ain't it? So definitely worth them. Now, Aunt Bessie's roast beef and Yorkshire pudding thick crinkle cut, okay? So these are £1.19. And if you remember last month, I picked a pack up for me and picked two packs up for Dada. And I think it was like roast turkey. However... I was not impressed with the roast turkey. There was no roast turkiness. And now part of me feels like I need to open these to try them because Aunt Bessie sold me down the uh, Swanee on the last one. I mean, they smell beefy. They smell like a Seabrooks. So they're a nice, like, thick cut crisp. But am I going to get a Yorkshire pudding flavour? verdict definitely better than the turkey ones very much like a seabrook a mccoy's not getting a yorkshire pudding vibe 
I mean, not that Yorkshire pudding really has a flavour, but you know what I mean. But definitely a lot better than the turkey ones, guys. So if you see them, pick them up. Home bargains. If you are an OG, you will know I, <laughs> I had, well... I do have, but I haven't been able to find any. I have an obsession with like little packs of tissues. If you remember my Primark hauls, they was always in it. Always without a fail was packs of tissues. But they haven't really done any nice little designs. Or even like these little styles that I've seen, the, like the little chunky ones. These were 39p for a two pack of 12 three ply pocket tissues. And it is by Humble Vintage. I feel like I picked an... No, Cannon, what are you doing on the, uh... Oh, goodness gracious me, don't know where to look. There we go. I feel like I picked more of things up. <laughs> because there's quite a few designs, but I thought for 40p, 39p, that, again, something to put in my backpack for when I'm out. Because, I say this, but I'm thinking, when are you going to get the time? Because I have actually, like, jam-packed when I'm away at the log cabin. The only time that I'm having to relax is when I have my massage on my last day. But I do actually want to try and get out and hike. Now, please, when I say hike, do not come for me in the comments if you see the vlog. Because it will not be proper hiking. I do not have the forks. I do not have proper hiking boots. I do not have proper hiking attire. What I will have is footwear. I don't quite know what to wear yet. That is actually something I do need your advice on. I'm going to take both pairs. But what would you say would be better in? Because I don't know how the ground's going to be. Wellies, so I've got me Hunters, or Doc Martens. I was just going to take one of my battered pairs. Let me know down below what you think would be better. I'm thinking more of the Doc Martens because the grip. But then, if it's been raining or it's wet, the Wellies would be better. However, if it's been raining, I don't think I would be going. And for attire, I was just going to chuck on a like gym two-piece with maybe like a uh, waterproof Parker jacket and a backpack. We will have to see, won't we, my lovelies? We will have to see. Right, I picked up some skewers. A hundred pack of skewers from the open kitchen for one pound. These are really long as well. Look at the length of them. Like, skewers are normally half the size of that. I mean, I don't even think that would fit under my grill. That would probably be the width of my grill. But I suppose we could always cut them down a bit. I thought this for kebabs. You might be thinking, duh. But not just like actual like veg or chicken kebabs, anything like that. I was thinking of fruit kebabs. Something, oh, a little doggy starting out there. Maybe like fruit kebabs. So when I am feeling snacky at work, for me, guys, my food has to look fun. I am still a child in that aspect. I am so sorry. But if my food looks fun, I'm more inclined to eat it. So I'm thinking I could put on like a bit of melon, a bit of pineapple, maybe a strawberry. Love it. Absolutely love it. And then, oh, here we are. We've got some more mug shots. I found another roast chicken. And I found another chicken and mushroom. These I feel like there's another three or four of. Because I did get carried away, all right? I did get a little bit carried away. Now, mum done me a list of cleaning things. This was not on the list. But I felt like I needed it. And it is that, oh. There's a lot of movement outside. We've um, got new neighbours moving in. So it's all very hustle and bustle across the road. Um, this is called Angel Flower. So this is the laundry cleanser. And if I remember correctly, it's $1.99. And it's for when mum does her like her hand washing. Because you can do it on a cold wash. But, oh god, don't say I've got a dodgy one. How do you... Ugh. Oh no. What's it saying? Push down and turn. This is, oh my god, I was going to say this is for a child lock and I can't even open it. There we go. We have it off. I can't inhale it fully because we all know I go a bit OTT, don't I, sometimes. And then I'm like, oh, I have a headache for the rest of the video. So, oh, oh, it's very floral. Very florally. Not what I was expecting, but I'm also going to put you up there because definitely don't want any spillages, that is for sure. Cannon is flashing, so I need to go and quickly change the battery, and then we can get in, because this half is very, very random, okay? I mean, would you expect anything less from me? No. Let's change the battery, and I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Are you feeling refreshed? So am I. Right, guys. Kitchen roll. 
always an essential but mum didn't need the three pack she's still got two left so she was like shan don't bring in another three pack i know it's more cost effective but i don't need it and i haven't got the room for it so i just picked her up one this is a buffalo this is the brand that we normally get but we get the three pack which i think works out about two pound eighty these are 110 120 if i remember on their own but she said it's always handy just to have one she likes to have three but she don't like to have two packs of three if you know what i mean okay and then she was very happy when i said to her mum i've got you some treats we all know mum loves her peanut butter reese's peanut butter cups minis unwrapped so she doesn't even have to unwrap these ones like for christmas from the advent calendar these i feel are about 253 pounds now it's still cheaper than what you would pay in say the supermarkets or the american sweet shops but even in bargain shops you still pay because it's the branding it's the american branding unfortunately and i was going to get her some of the little individual ones but why do i feel like i've picked her up something else reese's i thought they was good because they was unwrapped but i feel there might be some more bits in here which i have to see <gasps> what there is is another pack of tissues so another two pack but i like these ones they said got the sniffles canon there we go again 39p just little handy bits you know and i'm sticking them in the mug because actually i might go and put the mug under the coffee machine after this video just so that everything is complete you know and then ah oh, here we are i have more another three of the chicken and mushroom noodles so as i say i think it's three for mum and three for me and then i've also got some roast chicken because it goes not too partial to that <laughs> when i show my mum says shan i didn't need any more toilet gel but i just can't help it it's the pinkness it is the pink vibes that i see and i absolutely love it so it is called duck fresh action gel fruity fantasy you would have seen this before on the channel my lovelies it is a classic i think i picked this one up last month perhaps mandarin orange blossom and peach now we are coming into the spring seasons and summer the cleaning unfortunately we can't have it in apple cinnamon and mold wine as much as i would love it we need to start getting a little bit fruitiness you know getting a little bit fruity with life right I, as I say, I'm trying to get on the health kick. And I saw these protein drinks. Now, I got some protein milkshakes. I think it was Home Bargains. Yes, it was last month. Chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. Oh my God, that was delightful. So I saw these and these were 89p each. And it is by the brand Optimum Nutrition. High protein shake, 25 grams of protein in each shake. So that's not too bad going, is it? I got a chocolate and a vanilla. And I will be sure to tell you in vlogs what I think of them because I need to slowly start getting at least into the protein because if I don't get into that, when, say, you throw yourself back into the gym, your muscles are going to be like, what are you doing to me? With the protein, I think, don't get me wrong, I think it helps mould your muscles and, like, helps repair them. So I want to start getting on maybe, like, my clear whey protein drinks again, maybe, like, say, a week before I start the gym, just so that it's in my system. And then once I go in, my muscles are not going to be as torn to pieces. Like, don't get me wrong, they're still going to be shot, but nothing to what they could be. Broken record time, broken record time. Am I ever going to change? No. No, no, no. Guys, if you don't go to a bargain shop and get your canned drinks, what are you doing with life? What are you doing? I only got four this time because, as I say, I'm away for a week, so I didn't want to get too many. I got two cans of the raspberry, orange, and passion fruit Vimto's. These are 39p, supposed to be RRP 55p. You might think, well, it's only like... 15 16p they all add up my lovelies and then i got a big bottle of this last month and it is by the brand caraboa energy drinks i picked up the mango burst and mixed berry 49 and 63 calories per tin they was about 79p because they are an energy drink but i thought i'd get them in the can as opposed to the big bottle because i found when i got the big bottle of the mango you have to drink it. And with energy drinks, I may not be in the mood for an energy drink every day. So I definitely feel like a can is a lot more up my street, you know? We have something else wrapped in this. This, if you remember last year, it is the same style. So that's fabulous because you can always add to it. But last year, I got a plate with love hearts around the top. This time, I got the matching bowl. 
I was contemplating getting another bowl and another plate. So there is like a set of two for me and Mama G. But I know she would not have been happy if I'd come back with another whole dinner set. So I thought, well, I'll just get the one. And then, oh, I hate peeling stickers out because you know when it leaves the residue. Anyone else? Anyone got any tips actually when it leaves the residue in how to get it out? Oh, I've done that fabulous. This was £1.49 and the plate, if I remember correctly, was £1.79. Still under two quid for a plate, but yeah. I just thought that could be cute. I mean, I should have got two for when we do our Galentine's vlog. I might have to make a little detour back before then, eh, my lovelies? Right. I didn't go too mad down the love section. I just got a few little bits and bobs. So I got these, again, for like Galentine's. These were 99p and they're milk chocolate stirrers topped with mini mallows from the brand Lots of Love. Very simple for me. We have our little hot chocolates, put it in, and away you go. These, I'm so excited for. These are by a brand I've never heard before. Moonflake Mighty Oats. This kind of went hand in hand when I saw the bowl. They had the bowl, they had the porridge. Home bargains, you know what you're doing when you do your merchandising, okay? This is Instant Oats Limited Edition. Eight sachets for $1.99 these were. But it's pink Prosecco and strawberry flavour. Now, am I being optimistic to think that these might actually be pink oats? Or are they just flavoured? It doesn't tell me whether the oats are pink. And I would love to know if they are. So that's going to be fun. When we do that, we shall see. I feel like it might just be a flavouring, but hey-ho, we can always learn. And they also say they do them in golden syrup flavour. So we'll have to have a look, won't we? We will have to have a look. I did, however, get mum. These were six sachets, but they're a 33% bigger portion. These were two pounds again, but these are the proper golden syrup Quaker oats. So I picked those up for mum because she is a bit partial to some porridge. And again, I'm thinking porridge in the mornings with some fruit on top, a croissant instead of the snack man, a healthy portion controlled dinner for the evening. I should be able to start shifting these pans. I mean, don't get me wrong. The gym I'm slowly going to break myself back into. But food-wise, I think I'll be all right. We've got some more five croissants from the brand Seven Days. These are the cocoa and vanilla flavouring fillings. So we've got the white chocolate. Well, no. What is it? It's chocolate and cream. And then we've got just got normal chocolate. So I've got ten days. I have 10 days worth of snacks there, which is great. And oh my God, absolute lifesaver. You used to only be able to get these in Panland. Then I saw Savers do them. Then B&M. And I never saw them in Home Bargains. But guys, you know I am obsessed with these 52 Spectacle and Lens Wipes for £1. I go through these like there's no tomorrow. I do normally have about two minimum a day, sometimes three. I have one just before I go out in the morning. I'll have one of an evening and clean them before bed because it is amazing how dirty they can get from the evening to the morning. It must just be the stuff in the air. But if we're going out, say, in the mid-afternoon, I will always give them a good wipe over. But, yeah, I know it's probably not the greatest for the environment and I probably should be using a cloth, but I haven't found anything as good as those wipes because they're instant drying as well. So there's no, like, residue and having to wait for it to dry. Those are amazing okay amazing this was not on mama g's list but it's lemon it's spring it's a classic and it is the zesty lemon kitchen cleanup from astonish this if i remember correctly i'm going to say it's either one pound or one pound 20 off the top of my head it's still very affordable there are some that you can get are about 70 or 80p the brand i can't remember the name of the brand but I like to stick with, I say I like to, mum likes to stick with brands that she knows. And also it's a cute little packaging in it. And I know it says kitchen cleaner. There's ones like bathroom cleaner. Mum pretty much uses most for anti, uh, I was going to say antibacterial. It's not like multi-purpose. So just because it says kitchen, you can't think, oh, no, I can't use that just to like tidy up my bathroom. We all do it. We all do it, don't we? I mean, I know we do in this household. Hey ho did get mum a few more treats i got her fries a chocolate cream these are three for a pound what is your favorite chocolate cream if you have them i like the mint ones mint ones are right up my street and she also wanted a bounty now what is going on with chocolates 
people think they're getting a bargain when it says duo. No, it's not, because half the time, they've added on a little bit of a regular size bar and then called it a duo, so you're not getting two full size ones. This is a trio. This was 79p, but guys, right? So there's a trio. This is the size of one. In between here, that's the size of one. That would be gone in two mouthfuls with me. I could probably even get away with that in one if I was really hungry. I think it was like 79p. What is going on? Why is everything going higher in price and shrinking in size? Yeah, it's not on, is it? It is not on. Let me tell you that. I'm clinging on to Christmas. I know we're in February, but I'm still clinging on to Christmas, guys. This, I feel, is only going to be around for this month because there was not many left. It was reduced to clear, which pained me. Just like the pain I have of my Christmas dinner mug shots. This was down to a pound. It's normally one forty nine, And it is the Bisto Pigs in Blankets Gravy Granules. Guys, if you have not seen this or not tasted it, please, 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 please. I actually had a bowl of Little French Fries the other day. Didn't want normal gravy. I wanted this in there. That, it is literally like a Frazzles gravy. So imagine you've got some nice chunky or skinny fries pour that over it's like you're having a drizzly frazzles on your chips that for me sounds blooming delicious it may not float your boat but it floats mine that's for sure doesn't take a lot to please me does it my lovelies oh i've recently discovered a new chocolate that i love dime dame i think it's called a dime so these are mini dimes these were one pound twenty these are the regular ones. So these are little bite-sized pieces. And then I also saw these. I feel these were £1 because they're slightly smaller. I've got orange. Orange flavour dimes. So I thought, you know what? We're going to try. We're going to treat. I might even keep them for uh, Galentine's night because Galentine's self-love, good food, self-love, cheeky little bit of alcohol, chocolate and a good film sound good to you because that is probably how the Galentine's vlog is going to go my lovelies we're just going to stuff our faces as per usual let's have a look oh my god for some reason I know Heinz has got expensive it was three tins for a fiver now is that normal I thought that was quite expensive don't get me wrong but I, I, I haven't been down like a normal supermarket aisle to look at a price so I'm a little bit hesitant I think I paid about 120 for this but I really had a craving this week for ravioli on toast. Again, I'm thinking like a perfect breakfast option. I mean, maybe not the whole can. We would definitely have to separate the cans. I'm thinking half of this with one slice of toast. But yeah, I just really fancied it. Like, and they also had like spaghetti hoops. I was never really a spaghetti hoop person. I'm more beans and sausages. They had beans and hoops. But beans and sausages is kind of my go-to. That is what I will opt to have on cheese. A little bit of cheese on toast with melted cheese like this. Ravioli on toast. Bit of grated cheese. Stick it under the grill. Mwah. Bellissimo. Bellissimo. Let's have a look. Oh, I've got some more poof poofs. So I, I tell you what. My resolution should be to know what it is. I feel like it's a glade. I feel like I can see a big G at the bottom. So it's either Glade or Airwick. And um, five years down the line, I still do not remember what it is. But you will not catch me buying the branded refills because they are daylight robbery. Sometimes three to four pound for one. 99p these are. I got a fresh linen and a true romance. So this one is musk, yay lang lang and rose. And this is peony, vetiver and jasmine. I would have the fresh linen. Mum can have the true romance because not really a um, rosy type of girl, am I, my lovely? And then Mum needed some cloths. She did not specify what type of cloths. So, I've got a selection. <laughs> This is what I mean. You have to be very specific because if I don't have a specific title or brand, I will just buy a selection. So I picked her up, firstly, some Power Action Antibacterial Surface Wipes. Now, I know these are always handy. She will never moan about having too many of these because this is literally when you have that little spillage. <laughs> done. Give everything a bit of a freshen up or if you've been chopping on the counter, which I am 
terrible for I should keep getting the chopping board out but sometimes if it's like a, a bit of orange or strawberries I'm just like oopsie these are about 79p they do have plain ones but again I do like a little bit of the lemon and citrus picked them up some j cloths 30 all-purpose cloths on a roll again these are about 80p I'm gonna say definitely under a quid mum goes through these like no tomorrow and a lot of you said that you can actually put them in the washing machine so that is fabulous um mum i keep telling her she keeps forgetting because she will literally use them to obliteration where she's just like no nah. in the bin they go i'm like okie dokes and then i'm excited about these so i picked up this brand i feel like i got last month or maybe christmas when she didn't specify it and you can't get you normally get the packs of 20 I haven't seen them for a few months, so I don't know if they've been discontinued or what is going on. But it's by the brand Multi, and it's four sponge scourers with nail guard grip. These are about 60p. So then I thought, right, we'll get those. And then I saw these, and I was very impressed. These were a pound, but by the brand Clean It, soap-filled scouring pads. More soap, less scrubbing. So they're kind of like the little metal kind of like a metal bottle brush material it gives me but there's soap inside so i thought these would be perfect for when mum is doing the pans because she always says with the pans she can never get like enough grip on them but with that you've got your little scour on it haven't you oh look oh i've got some more bamboo skewers these ones i was thinking for sushi rolls yes i'm thinking of doing sushi rolls and then deep frying them just this weird concoction because when i was in dominican they'd done something and i feel it was called an ecky roll or an ebby roll and it had prawn in it and it was in a roll and then it was deep fried and i thought i need that these are a little bit more sturdier so you see they've got like a big flat edge these again were one pound how many do you get in here 50 so it says great for making kebabs and tapas oh my god tapas oh <gasps> chorizo tomato potato bravas and pepper you watch i'm going to bring a video out like 10 recipes to do with skewers my little mind is tick 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 now these are very handy these you can get in most of the bargain shops it is a little four pack of clean and fresh handy wipes and these are one pound you would have seen me i've picked these up many a times i can't actually remember the last time i did though I feel like it might have been last summer because these are great when you get a little bit sweaty you know especially like around the back of your neck for me because half the time my hair dye is running so i'm like okay just to like freshen yourself up and if you get any sticky hands you know no one likes sticky hands again when we talk about snacking on a diet i have to talk in moderation I can sit and eat a whole pack of these, not even fussed. These are about 79.89p and they are the rice thins. I get mine in sweet chilli. Mum has hers in either, I feel like, cheese or sour cream and onion. Is it sour cream and onion? The green one, I think. But when I'm on my diet, I limit myself to one little row. One little row as opposed to the whole thing. So, I am trying, okay? I am trying, but... It's very hard when I just like my food. It really is hard. Picked up a diffuser. $1.99 Wickford & Co. They didn't have the tea lights of these, which I was a little bit sad at. So I'm hoping next month they're going to bring them in. And you know what I'm really looking forward to? If I'm remembering correctly, last year they had hot cross buns, wax melts, tea lights, diffusers, everything like that. I'm not going to lie, I was slightly gutted because everyone was saying to me, oh my God, Shan, home bargains have got that Easter bits in. They've got Easter boxes. I'm like, right. I walked in, my home bargains, I'm lucky to get what I got. Half the shelves were empty and all they was focused on was Valentine's. So I don't know if maybe they're in the transition. Maybe we're a little bit delayed down south because I always find that the places with the best bargain stores are up north. This is why I need to move up north, ain't it? But I did get a uh, re-diffuser and I got some up Berry Pavlova. For $1.99, I thought, yes, we shall try that. There was one, the returning favourites of Tropical Fruits. That's the kind of the peachy colour one. That was a returning, but I thought we would give that a go as it was something new. Had to stock up on some essentials. So this brand, Enconna. I feel like this is about £1.75, £2 in the supermarkets. £1. £1. This is what I mean. The bargain shops are your go-to places. 
go-to places. I just got Thai sweet chilli sauce because I used all of mine when we done the McBang video, if you remember that. It says mildly spiced and zesty. So I'm hoping it's not too spicy. I mean, mum never has it anyway, so it would just be me. And then I saw this, and guys, I need to get to Home Sense and TK Maxx, okay, because... If you remember, I picked up a balsamic glaze with fig extract. Absolutely love it. I need to go back to get more. But I saw this. This was one pound. Now this was a weird pricing. Was it like one thirty-five or one forty-five? It wasn't a nine. It was a five. I remember that correctly. Glaze with balsamic vinegar. So this is just like a really thick balsamic glaze, which is gorgeous over salads, chicken breasts. But you have to be very, very gentle with it because I will literally be like, mm, done. I also don't mind squeezing it into a little tub and dipping my chips in it. You might think that's rancid, but I don't mind it. Now, on the theme of like self love, I pick up the big body wash from this brand and it's the Dead Sea collection. I normally stick with coconut, however, they do also lavender. I get the body wash and I have the bath salt. But I've never tried the mineral salt scrub. So this was $1.99. And I thought, you know what? I will give that a go because it is a very large pot. And for £2, I thought, let's see what this is about. Okay, it has got a protective sealant on, but no, I can't smell anything, I'm afraid. But if it's anything like the body washes and the salt, love it. So I thought, you know what? We'll give that a go and then we will have the whole collection. Will I try the lavender one? I mean, I probably should do because it is supposed to be calming and I am trying to get that calming vibe. And my last two items are definitely going to give me that calming vibe. So I saw these and I feel like these are probably left over from Christmas. And it's by the brand, I'm going to say Silk. S-I-L-Q. Silk. If it's not, let me know. And it, they are cream liqueurs with a twist. So this was £3 or three fifty, and you get five little cream liqueur bottles. Now we all know, well, you don't if you're um, a newbie, but guys, if you didn't see the Vlogmas, you know that I drink Baileys by the litres at Christmas, okay? I love the stuff. And this I saw and I was like, oh, I need that in my life. Oh my God, these look fab. So you've got five little bottles. So what have we got here? We've got toffee and caramel they look nice don't they and then we've got oh cookies and cream that's the new little flavor and then we've got espresso oh that might be a bit strong hazelnut hazelnut is right up my street now i really want to open this i really want to open this right now but i feel these would be perfect for like a say or shot it oh <gasps> I really do feel like they could be like that. What is the percent on these? Because it doesn't actually tell you. They can't be that strong. It just says enjoy. Oh, 15%. Okay, maybe you are for that little size. Oh, guys, I haven't had a bit of Bailey since New Year. <laughs> I know we've already taste tested the um, crisps. I feel like I need to taste test this shall we right i've just sat and had a long hard deliberation with myself as to whether i'm actually going to try this and i am we're going to go with the hazelnut okay i do not condone this oh it smells nice please don't moan at me for drinking out the bottle and as i say <laughs> i do not condone this but i've missed my baileys right let's have a go Shut up. I could have done that all in one. And oh my god, I need to find this brand online. I need a bottle of that. Oh, that's just warmed me up. Oh guys, I'm going back to Christmas now. The Irish cream is running down my throat. Wow, silk. I think that's how you say it, my lovely silk. That's bad. I want to go back to Home Bargains now. I want to go back, get another plate and bowl, and get quite a few of these. These would be delicious. I just want to say, or shot it, I would just be like, shot it. Give me <laughs> the shots. Just give them to me. 
Oh, I feel I'm going to go home bargains and get some more. And I might take these way to the cabin with me. I, th I think that could be a vibe. And then the last thing I got, which this used to be a regular. I'm going to say the first two years of my YouTube, every time I went home bargains, I picked up one of these bottles. However, I've run out of room in my drinks cupboard. <laughs> That's why I opt for mini bottles now. But I saw this and I was just like, I can't not. Because I'm slowly working my way through them. Um, you will probably see a bottle of alcohol <laughs> in every monthly favourites. I do apologise. But Manchester Drinks Co. This is always in Home Bargains. I don't know if they do it in b and I think it could be exclusive to Home Bargains. And this is kind of one for, it was in the Valentine section. So it's a little, normally with Manchester Drinks and Co, you tip the bottle. And remember, it's like iridescent. This is just a normal one. This is a strawberries, white chocolate and marshmallow gin liqueur. So I remember you guys telling me with liqueurs, you don't even have to dilute them. Now, I'm definitely not going to be uh, cracking this open and giving it a little bit of a thing just after I've had that. Because I don't want an upset belly. But it does say, um, try neat over ice as an after dinner drink or go along with a splash of tonic, passion fruit slices over ice and serve with a whole marshmallow skewered on a cocktail stick. That is very bougie. 7 99 Cannot go wrong. 7 99 For 500ml, it's 20%. Not bad, half a litre. Oh, I've got that lovely warming feeling in my stomach now of like Bailey's. And I want to try them all. No, we're just, we're going to have to put you over there. And I'm going to put the box on you. But guys, that is our home bargains haul for February. And I think home bargains, you're slowly stepping up. Please, can you have Easter bits in for next month? Because I'm not going to be happy. I saw on someone's TikTok, they had, I think I said before, Easter boxes. You know, like we had our Halloween boxes. They was like wooden crates, but with Easter on I need them in my life. I actually need them in my life. So please, Home Bargains, can you bring it? Can you bring it down south? Because I'm going to be gutted if I can't get my hands. Now I've seen it, I would like it. I would actually really like if Home Bargains done like a Valentine's Eve box or like a little Valentine's Day wooden crate just to fill it in with little bits and bobs and cuties, eh? But my bed is filled, so we all know that means it is the sign of the end. Of a good blooming haul. <laughs> so my lovely is done. My bed is covered. I feel like we've got a really good mix this year. This year, this month. I am going to crack on with those Aunt Bessie's beef crisps. I probably shouldn't because I've got a big dinner tonight. But hey ho, let's uh, let's just ignore that, shall we? And then I've got a few new little homeware bits. We've got the little bowl to go with the plate, which I am hoping I'm going to pick up some more of. We have the mug which is buried under there with my tissues we've got some lovely new flavored oats we have some lovely new flavored alcoholic beverages and we've got some protein bits so i mean it's, it's all about balance isn't it it is all about balance my lovely so if you did enjoy the video guys you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below leave me a comment what was your favorite item of the haul and what are you looking forward to are you doing anything on valentine's any valentine's particular food or drinks that you think i should try because i am on the hunt now for like valentine's themed food because I want to film that once I get back from the log cabin. So if there's anything you've seen out and about. I know one of my lovelies messaged me and was like. Shan there is love heart crumpets in Aldi. I was like. Sending Mama G there next week bless her. She was like oh I'll go and have a look and see what else is about. I was like thank you. So yes. I don't want to rib it rabbit and take up any more of your day. Apologies it was late. Um, I need to. <laughs> I need to have a bit more energy drinks I think within the week. So I don't crash on a Friday. Because. I tend to like to now have an evening editing, an evening chilling, an evening filming, an evening reading, and then just an evening doing nothing. So I need to make sure that my Fridays is my filming evenings. And if it's not, I need to just crank myself up to do it. I can't keep falling asleep. But yes, take care, stay safe as always, and I shall see you tomorrow for a very highly requested video, but it's a very informative one. Let me know if you think you know what it is down below, all right? But as I say, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.